Good morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday, March 31st. Thank you for joining me this morning for Morning Assembly. You may recognize the room I'm in. It's the library. For some of you, I know this is your favorite building on campus. Being able to exchange books and talk to Miss Wisdom about your next series is always exciting for you. For some of us, it's the place where we can go and print something out or get on the computer for one of our classes. If I'm a little one, then I come to story time with Miss Wisdom and Miss Lauren Curry, or my class may come in here and get some work done as well. So it's a busy place and there's always something going on in the library. Now that it's week three of the quarantine, I figure everyone could use a view of one of their favorite buildings on campus. Don't worry, I'm here by myself so I can't get sick. Let us join together to pray and say our Pledge of Allegiance. As we pray together, it is Tuesday, so I would like for you to think of someone or something that you are thankful for and life just wouldn't be the same without. Join me in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. O oh Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day for all the intentions of your sacred heart in union with the holy sacrifice of the mass throughout the world in reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all our relatives and friends, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father, amen. St. Thomas More, St. Joseph, Mary, Queen of Peace, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Boys and girls, if you are not doing so yet, if you would, please stand and join me as we pledge allegiance to our flag. Please salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Today we have three birthdays, which is very exciting. Two of them are actually in sixth grade. Happy birthday to Hayden Wynn and Mary Ellen Moore. We hope that y'all have a great day today. Our other birthday is a staff member. She works at the preschool, Miss Alice Bruce. Happy birthday, Miss Alice. We hope that you have a fabulous day today as well. I mentioned a moment ago that it's our third week of quarantine. And I know that many of you may be missing your friends. I know my daughters are missing their friends terribly. Mr. Moscona asked that the staff use Zoom to stay in touch with each other. So we are doing grade level meetings and faculty meetings to stay in touch with everyone on Zoom. And I thought this would be a great way for those of you out there missing your friends could actually visually see them and have a virtual play date. You need mom or dad, so go grab them if they're not with you, and I am going to transition to the project lab so I can show you how it's done. All right, I'm in the project lab, and I'm going to show you how to access Zoom. On your browser, literally type in Z-O-O-M. This is how it is spelled. You type it into your Google browser, and you are going to get their home screen. Their home screen is here. You will create your own for free um, account. And then you will be able to start scheduling your own meetings. Once you schedule a meeting, it will look like this and you can copy the invitation for your friends. You just click on it, copy the meeting invitation, mom or dad, email your friends this invitation and then you launch your meeting and so you too can have a conference video chat with your friends enjoy so i hope that you have enjoyed your look into the library today your look into zoom friend video chatting to stay in touch with everyone and I hope you have a great Tuesday. See you soon. Bye-bye.